Good luck the rest of the way, I guys. Got, I got one thing line. to say. How about that? Oh, 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 we from city to city, this is what we do. I'm Tommy Rochester with Fango Media. Uh, you could follow my personal accounts, my Instagram at Tommy Rochester with two R's. Not sure why you would follow. Um, I don't post a lot there, but who you should follow is Fango Media on YouTube and Fango underscore media on Instagram. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on those notifications. You do not want to miss a video from us. We are showing the fans, you guys, your reactions after these games. We're giving a platform for you guys to speak. If you don't want to miss it, make sure you subscribe. 27 to 10, third quarter is just about ending. What do we got to say, guys? The offensive line is terrible. They're not blocking. Deshaun Watson is not throwing passes accurately. He should have played in the last preseason game. And if you expect him to come out here and perform, give me a break. We go through this every year. Every year. Every well, year. Every year. This is crazy. When are they going to play like a championship team? There's no way the Dallas Cowboys should have came in here playing like this. What do you got to say? Listen, the Dallas Cowboys come into every regular season playing like they're a playoff team. Yeah. When they get to the playoffs, they 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 fold, right? Every year. The Every Cleveland year. Browns, yes. Kevin Stefanski, why are we like this? Why? We have Deshaun Watson, an elite QB. And you can't, $30 million. And you can't capitalize on it. You can't capitalize on it. You can't capitalize on it. You can't capitalize on We have all the weapons we need. Right. Our defense, what are we doing? What is Jim Schwartz doing this whole right. offseason? Yes. We just decline like this? Cleveland, we need to lock it in. We need to lock it in. Dallas is the way that they are in the regular season. They play like in the playoffs. So we'll see you in the playoffs, Dallas. Hey, all I got to say is the Cleveland Browns will see y'all in the playoffs. Well, if we see Dallas in the playoffs, it'll be in the Super Bowl. Cool, yeah. That's well, what you guys mean? Well, no. All I'm saying is the Cleveland Browns will be in the playoffs. We're going to correct it. We're going to figure it out, and we're going to be in the playoffs. And I know we're just saying this because we're Cleveland Browns fans, but I truly believe. I've uh, been a Browns fan as long as I can remember. Been to a lot of games. This is probably one of the worst performances I've ever seen. I've just got to say, Browns fans, we deserve better. That's all I have to say. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Come on in. Come on in. We'll take, we'll take Cowboys fans. I don't want to do it, but we, we, I don't want to do it. Yeah, yeah, we the boys. We the boys. Cowboys. It was a great first experience, man. I'm so glad I experienced this first time in my life, man. It was a blast, man. Cowboys did their thing. But, but the Browns fans... They are very, very commendable. They ain't give us no trouble, man. We appreciate that. This is your first Cowboys game ever? ever. In Cleveland. In Cleveland. What made you guys come out? Cowboys. Well, but why Cleveland? Oh, it's so close to where we're from, Dayton. See, how about them Cowboys? <laughs> All right, guys, have a good rest of your night. It was bad, man. Them boys have more penalties than first downs, man. I ain't even being hyperbolic either. That's a real stat. Look it up. Hey, man, they, they ain't look too good today, man, but I'll see y'all in Jacksonville next week. Yeah, let's hear it. <laughs> you know, we got to call 911 because someone stole $230 million from the Brown. What are we doing, Cleveland? Let's go, Cleveland. Get it together, please. Please. Come on. This is our year. What? What is it, Rust? Come on now. Let's go, Cleveland. Back Let's go, Cleveland. She, Back to you. Please. She said it first. Let's go, Cleveland. Cleveland, baby. How are we going to uh, improve? What do you mean, how are we going to improve? We're going to get the ball down the field. Let's get the passing yards up. Let's get the rushing yards up. And let's call it better plays. Stefanski, come on, man. I think you should take Stefanski's job. I should. I should. Hire me as head coach. What's up? Hit me up. Hire me as head coach. I got this. Browns for life. I'm out. Hey. Here we go, Brownies. Here we go. Who? Who? Yeah, that's it. Nice overalls, man. Thanks, brother. Hey, go for it. Hey, we might not have won the battle. We might not have won the battle, but we will win the war. Have faith in the Browns this season. It's all right. They beat, they beat our they beat our tails today. You man. guys you guys know each other? Yeah. Yeah. So there's a lot of talking going on. I mean, yeah, not, yeah. This is my best friend, so I ain't gonna do it like that. And, and, and we're in front of my kids, so I can't dog him like that. But he's a good guy. He's a good guy for sure. Well, I mean, I was just disappointed in our running game. I felt like it was just like ridiculous. I felt like we'd not get our momentum up from the very beginning, yeah. right? We started off slow, right? Mm -hmm. And we just couldn't get it going. And it was just really disappointing, I think, from the very beginning. Yeah. 
What are we talking about? She's, talking, she's, she's giving her halftime speech to the team right now. Yeah, yeah come on in. Oh, look at this guy. Uh, I'm, I'm just disappointed as a team, man. I feel like I just thought we was fast. You know, I, 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 hey, get out of here with that. I, I thought we was fast. You know, we, we come out and, and lay an egg. You know, we should have definitely played in the preseason. Um, I done lost my voice trying to tell them to do better. So it's week one day, y'all. I think we're going to be okay. You know, I think it, it, it's going to be all right. But definitely got to play better than that shit. So yeah. we're going to clearly win the Super Bowl. We're going to win the Super Bowl. We're the greatest team of all time. We're at the Cleveland Browns. That's what we do. Your thoughts? How long have you been a Browns fan? This is my 30th year of having season tickets. 30th year of having <laughs> season tickets? Better play calling. Uh, we need to play our players during the preseason so they look like they know what the hell they're doing. And our offensive line was absolutely atrocious. But everybody's going to blame it on Watson, even though he was pressured every single play of the game. Uh, the sad part is they'll fix it, and we may look – we'll be more respectful next week, but – this is all. This is all because of the lack of days of attitude during preseason. This is why we look as shitty as we do. Yeah. All right, guys. We got Nick Chubb and Ezekiel Elliott here talking about the game. Sure. All right. What's going on? What's up? Fucking great win. Honestly. Big all W. That sucked. That sucked. So, Big W. Ready to see Dak for another four years, baby? I don't know about so, that. We'll so, take that. So here, right. here's a question right here. The Cowboys. Are they just that good, or were the Browns just that underprepared? Underprepared, for sure. The, the Cowboys are not that good. It's only one week. Dak's got a lot of throws that we missed today, so I wouldn't get all that carried away. Browns offensive line looked overwhelmed at times, really. I'm going to go with both. Super Bowl coming. <laughs> Underprepared. Where's your Joe Flacco at? <laughs> we should have kept Joe Flacco. Good luck the rest of the way, guys. I got, I got one thing line. to say. How about that Joe Flacco? We from city to city, this is what we do. Look for it all year, cause it's gonna happen. Here we go, Here we go. Hey y'all, know what's up, man? Brent Teasy from Garland, Texas. You know what it is. First time here in Cleveland, Ohio. Great time, man. Everybody was really nice. Great scenery, great scenery. Thank oh, you. Boys. So I drove 750 miles from Cleveland, Ohio. I'm and sorry, from, with her. From, from, from 750 miles, 750 miles from Atlanta, Georgia, yes. to see my brownies. And yes, guess what? Did. Although we lost today, I would still drive back here again tomorrow to root for my Absolutely. team. Absolutely. So the die hard fans forever. Die hard fans forever. So we love the Browns. Yes. From the day we were born, we're bleeding orange. Yes. And we love you guys forever. Win or yes. lose, okay? Well, listen, you, Miles Garrett. <laughs> Let's get a few more wins, though, guys. Yes. We love y'all. This is a birthday gift from one of our friends in Atlanta. So thank you, guys. Woo! Go Browns! Woo! Yeah! Wow! Are you still believing in Deshaun Watson? You know, as long as he's my quarterback, I'm gonna believe in him. You know, it, whoever's on the field, I'm gonna believe in them. I believe this team can go 17 0, 16 to 1 now. I think I think we're gonna do it. I think we're going to the Super Bowl still. Okay. As long as long as you know, we still got the opportunity to make a positive record. We're going to the Super Bowl. What's hey, up? What's up? I have literally a hundred bucks in my wallet. You guys know who number seven is, and it's not exactly Diggs. Yeah. Make, not make, Diggs. Make the mirror. Go dogs. What's Go the dogs. first thing? Go dogs. Literally a hundred bucks for this guy if he gets it right. Okay. He said it's okay. McNamara. Okay, we What's have the first name. We have a hundred bucks. A hundred bucks. He will give him a hundred bucks if he guesses the first name of number seven. And it's not Trayvon Diggs. Troy. No, number seven. Troy. No. It, it, so McNamara, and it's Dutch. Dutch McNamara. It's me. A custom jersey. Dutch. It's not Troy. Dutch. He got it. No, he said Troy. No, he he said Dutch. He said Dutch. Answer. He said Dutch. Yeah, after I said it. No, he said Dutch first. He's a Browns fan. I'm a Browns fan, so I respect him. I'm Ravens. We won. I won money. You know. Come on, Come on. You too, Chad. Go, go Cowboys. Go Cowboys. Let's go Cowboys. Yeah, yeah. The Cowboys. They still f***ing suck. Okay. We're going to the playoffs. You can bet on it. B-E-T, Michigan. No. no. Yes. No. Let's go. So they're going to the playoffs. But, but you lost. I don't give a f*** if we lost or not. <laughs> Y'all. They still suck. Hey, listen, we were playing without Nick Chubb. I'm sorry, he wants his mic back. I apologize. You guys go lower, still go lower, go lower, go lower, go lower. I'm not about to suck yeah, y'all.
No, Galore. Yeah. Let's go viral, mother. Wins and losses are overrated. No, <laughs> yeah, I took, I took your chicken, man. <laughs> My man. Thank you. So you lost because Nick yeah. Tell was on the court, on the field? Exactly. My man is saying that wins and losses are overrated. That's what my man is saying. We can say and wins as long as we approach the game that way, right? Yeah, we can say wins and losses is overrated, but okay. we was without our best player today. But I can guarantee you this here. We meet y'all in the he Super Bowl. We're going to kick y'all. Bet on it. What about Deshaun Watson? You paid him like he's your best player? Y'all paid Dak like y'all was his best player today. He Showed sucked. It today, though. Who wants to see your hairline? Well, I don't have your much. Hairline is Beautiful. Oh, you want to see that? Who's got the better hair? Who has the better hairline? <laughs> Who's got the better hairline right here? Guys, <laughs> look, it's a butt. <laughs> I'm standing outside of Huntington Bank Field in Cleveland, Ohio, where the Dallas Cowboys just beat the Cleveland Browns 33 to 17. You just saw me talking to a bunch of fans on the street, guys. Uh, we will be here outside of all the home games. Talking to fans, we are Fango Media on YouTube, Fango underscore media on Instagram, and we are here to give the fans a voice. So make sure to follow us, subscribe, hit that notification button. Hey, how y'all doing today? It's for Fango Media. Tell them to subscribe. Fango Media, go subscribe. We're well, here to hear, guys. Subscribe to Fango Media. We're going to be giving the fans, you guys, an opportunity to speak about the games and the teams that you guys love. I'm Tommy Rochester, and I will see you guys next time.